Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back with some more Power League games. So guys, I was just streaming and I had some pretty good games that I thought you guys could benefit from. First off, we are starting off with a banger game and uh, yeah, it's a really stacked lobby. So you're going to see right from the draft. So I got Filippo and Koji, they're both EU. Uh, and Sans, we're against Sans, second best, and Chino. So it's gonna be Crystal Arcade, they do have first pick, so of course you gotta ban out the Shelly. Uh, standard bans here would be like Shelly, Cordelius, and probably Squeak. I think Squeak's like super oppressive. But I think I might have, we might have left Squeak open. Just cause like, you can run it down, so... Okay, no, 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 we banned Squeak. So, uh, <laughs> they're gonna ban Mr. P, Auto Ban, Dinah, and Crow, those are all fine. Um, and yeah, so we do have last pick and, uh, I'm just kind of thinking like, all right, we're like, they have a really good team. So luckily we got last pick because it's a lot harder to do if you don't have last pick. You're going to first pick Gus. So, uh, I think I just take the dog because uh dog is like pretty good. Uh, especially if you get a 2-3, I think you can get like ran down a little bit, but usually it gets to a point in the game where it's like all open and uh, you know, Gus, I think it's really good, but can get ran down. You do got to worry about that a lot with last pick, especially if uh, you don't go like a really strong tank counter. I think it's just kind of like free tank game and we're going to go Gene. So, I mean, technically they could run it down into us too and uh, Gene, it is pretty decent to Gus though. I think like Gus is gonna get Pry at the start, but on this map, like the vision's really good. Second one, Sandy. So <laughs> here in my head, I'm like, all right, like what tank are we playing? Like, <laughs> hopefully, like uh, they don't go like Tar or something, because at this point, like I'm already gonna like start spamming him with like a tank. Like I think it's the only way we really win. Or I mean, we could just like open it up and kind of like, you know, try like outscaling or whatever or scaling. But I think it's kind of risky. And they go Carl, so. They were, uh, there, like, I just have to, like, go tank here. So, I think Sam is really good here into those matchups. Uh, now you could also go, like, something like Daryl or, like, I don't know, like, Buzz is weird because the Sandy has a sleep, and I feel like if you miss, like, one super on Buzz, you can kind of lose the game. So, I want to play the Sam. I've been working on it a little bit, and this is, like, a really free Sam matchup. So, Sam, like, you pretty much... If they don't have something that can kill you super easily, uh, you want to just stay alive. And I'm by no means like a Sam expert, guys. I have been working on it, but like I'm definitely not the best Sam in the world. Even though like I do pretty good this game, but it is like a pretty free game in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you can just see like I'm gonna just super up, and pretty much you need to play off like the speed. And you can see it does go like. It's weird because it's like kind of glitchy like the super sometimes like you'll aim it somewhere and like it won't go anywhere and then it just kind of like really screws you up. But I just want to stay like up here. It doesn't matter if I get hit by a few shots like I'm maintaining some HP. Ideally I like don't feed the gust too much but you can just see I'm waiting for him to get too close and he does get close and then I will manage to just like keep like getting my gloves off there. And uh, yeah, I did, <laughs> I didn't mean for it to go backwards, but I kind of bait him here. Like he doesn't know it's here. So I just gadget him when he goes up and uh, I will kill Sans again. And I can see I can get a hit on second as well. So already like a ton of work. Unfortunately, our gem carrier did die there. So <laughs> a lot of my effort went to vain, but Philippa has been doing a really good job on the other side there as well. Now I'm going to have the Sandy on me. So uh, I do see an opportunity to gadget them. And I really think I can like, I don't know if I team wipe, but I definitely get my gloves back and can like throw them again and get them all low and then my team can finish them off. But second did a really good sleep on me and it just really messed me up. So yeah, I'm just gonna like try, there's so many gems on the ground. So I wanna be really aggro here and see if I can just run them down and uh, just stay alive. But yeah, Gene, it is good cause you have the knockback. Uh, and I know I'm gonna go down here. So I'm just gonna like try stalling as much as I can and I wanna stay alive, but uh, Luckily, my teammates did stop the countdown. I think the Carl went in there, and it's pretty even right now. So, <laughs> it's kind of, like, it makes it pretty hard for my team, like, when I'm laning the Sandy, because I'm just going to give him, like, infinite Sandy Storms. There's no, like, really way around it. Like, uh, I got to be aggro, and they don't really have enough to deal with me. So, I'm just, like, always kind of looking for that. And I do catch them out there. Yeah, I'm dying a lot, but, like, <laughs> we're kind of going even, like, we're trading gems, right? They're, like, focusing on me a lot. And uh, on the other end, like... 
I don't know. I'm getting like tripled up on, and uh, Sandy's using all his gadgets on me. So I actually think this is like pretty fine right here. You're not always gonna look that good on tanks, but like I can see, like I get them all like one shot. Uh, and if I could get my super back there, I would definitely team wipe, but it's kind of hard, like, they're all, like, grouping up on me, but that play won us the game, and Gene had a really good pull as well. So, like, you just want to apply, like, a lot of tank, uh, pressure on tanks, like this, and, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try getting the KD, but I think overall, like, it's not, like, super clean, obviously, but it hardly, like, ever is on tanks, so, <laughs> you gotta, like, sacrifice the KD, especially, I feel like Sam, it's, like, not a KD brawler, like, Ash, you can get good KDs, something like that, but, like, the ones where you just, like, fully go in, like, uh, Sam, or, like, Primo, uh, usually your KD is not really the strongest, so, they're gonna pinch me super hard this time, and I definitely play this, like, as bad as I can, like, I do want to apply pressure, but I'm getting hit by, like, every shot, and, uh, I almost did line them up to hit both with my super, but, yeah, like, they focused on me a lot, and that's something that will happen at this point, and I did want to save my gene, but I do catch them out, and I'll get my super back, and nice pull from Koji there to finish him off as well. But that was a really good play, and but you can see like what happens when they just focus you too much, and they kind of have to with their comp because they don't really have a hard tank counter. So I am just being a menace to them, and uh, yeah, you can see it's working out really well for us so far. We are up like five to zero. I think there's more gems like in the mid for us to get. Yeah, and uh, here I kind of just see them line up, and uh, usually you don't really want to go for that. Um, I mean, obviously, if they line up like that, you do want to go for it, but that's not really the kind of brawler that Sam is, so the first thing you want to do is just kind of, like, play off the walls, get your speed, try auto-attacking, and uh, it's not, like, a long-range brawler. Like, a lot of people were playing it like that at the start. I'm just trying to get my KD up. There's not really a threat of them killing me here. <laughs> I want to salvage the KD as much as I can, but I think I played really good on the Sam, and luckily my teammates played really good, too. They definitely had a really good team. See, you got to screenshot some of them sometimes. So yeah, I will get the screenshot there. But it was, it was a fun game. And, uh, you know, I don't think I've shown you guys the Sam game yet. So I wanted to put it in the YouTube video for sure. All right, guys. Next up, it's going to be like complete opposite play style. Uh, it is going to be Gold Arm Gulch. Now, you can obviously go like tank like last pick here or something like that. But uh, usually, like, I'm kind of known in my stream for going the Mandy here. So I think it's really good for Power League. I think I'm like pretty good at it it's, it might be my best brawler right now so like it is like a brawler like i feel like i can play like literally on any map like into like okay it's a really specific brawler so don't do this but i just like kind of have that ego with it where i feel like i can pick it like on most maps and like a lot of comps you can get ran down i think the slow gadget makes it kind of decent to some tanks like daryl you can kind of like get a free slow on it every time but uh yeah definitely towards the end of the round uh, if you don't have position and stuff, it can be really rough. So uh, we're going to first pick Grom, and I'm very happy about that. Grom has been one of my least favorite brawlers to play against in Knockout recently. I think it's definitely the better of the two throwers. Sprout is a little safer into like tanks and stuff, I feel like, but Grom is just like the kill threat is crazy on it. And uh, they're going to go Gene, which is a good pick by them. Gene's just safe all around. You can uh, regen your teammates, and if you get a pull, you usually like just kind of like win the round off that and Bonnie. Really good brawler. Now, nothing about those two brawlers really says pick Mandy, but like I said, like I kind of, it's Power League. I like going something I can carry on. So I'm going to pick the Mandy and I'm telling Perry, Perry owes me. He always goes like last pick Frank or something. So I'm telling him go Cordelius like, and uh, that way, like they can't like, uh, Cordelius is just broken right now, right? It's not especially good into tanks, but it definitely is like better than like a lot of brawlers into tanks. And uh, if they go a thrower or something like that, like Sprout is open, you can jump over the wall, you can super it through walls, and it's really good into throwers right now. It's definitely one of my least favorite matchups. I was more worried about them going Cordelius too, because Cordelius into like Mandy and Grom is like so free for them. So we got really lucky uh, they didn't pick it. I don't know, some people, like this is what I'm gonna talk about in another video, but some people just don't realize that it's open half the time or they don't have it like maxed out. So it does make it through draft. And they go gray. Uh, I think Gray is really good into our comp too, so they definitely have late game on us. Uh, it's kind of up to us to make something happen before uh, it gets there, and uh, yeah, that's where I come in. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I think they go aggro on our side, which is fine. Um, 
So Mandy is pretty good though if I can catch someone down like a narrow corridor. Same with Grom. So they gotta be really careful uh, where they're going here. Cordelius, it's kind of just like our bodyguard until it can change supers towards the late game. I don't think you really use too many supers. So I'm gonna go for a slow. I see him up here and I see him going aggro. So I slow him, it's a free kill. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we do trade there. Uh, Cordelius is not really that good early game without a super. But I think that trade's fine. Uh, the only issue is like, we gotta be careful with the gray. Uh, I'm more than fine like just playing like max range into them like I know at some point they'll give me hits So I'm just kind of like waiting and uh, I can also always try like sneaking around But I don't really mind getting hit by like gene for 240 I know he's not close to his pull so I'd rather like one of my hits is definitely worth like a few of his if I slow him there I think I can make a play to try killing him, but uh, yeah, I am gonna just get my super there and <laughs> just like one shot the gene. So he wasn't like one shot, one shot, but he was low. And I don't know, like he could have just like TP'd and like, I think I would have been one HP. So he plays this so poorly. Uh, I have my slow on. I think that's fine. Just kind of the threat is like getting in his head. I don't know about that gadget, but yeah, like <laughs> I think I used to go the shoot through wall a lot. I've definitely been leaning to the slow more lately. And it's really weird. like. I don't know why, but I can't hit people with my super who's slow. I'm so good at hitting my supers usually, but when they're slowed, it just throws me off a lot. I don't know why. It's really weird. But, um, yeah, so pretty good first round for us. Now, if I hit the gene, I can just uh, super him right away and kill him. But I, this is what I was talking about. Like, they need to be really careful going down lanes. I see Bonnie jumping. I do miss my super. Uh, pretty bad super, but we're gonna trade kills and I got a kill on the gray as well. So that's why I think the slow gadgets like slowly becoming, no pun intended, but uh, my favorite more. Um, and yeah, you can see he has the mute. I personally probably would have brought jump. I think jump on court's really good. So we're gonna take the first round though. So yeah, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out if they're gonna try sneaking down our side. I see the gray here, so um yeah my first thought is like all right if i can see him get a good slow off so here you can see i go for it again but he is out of range so i don't need to like uh i get two hits off which is good um but ideally like you know you get a kill off the slows but uh two hits it's better than nothing so you can't be like too greedy sometimes like i'm fine with that uh and yeah you gotta be careful going down there parry i am in a spot where i can die here so i'm just gonna have to back off uh, I don't really have anyone like kind of covering me and our Grom's pretty backed up as he should be into the gray Gray is just breaking all his like gadgets. I don't know. He's kind of not being that good with it and I'm gonna break my super unfortunately um, Kind of a sloppy super like if I saw them if I walk down and I see them in the that corridor I can easily chain supers here, but uh yeah, unfortunately, we. I think I take him out, but I'm gonna miss a shot. And uh, yeah, Grom's gonna waste super, but I am like one to super. So this is something that I like doing, and I don't really do it. Like it's pretty risky, but I know that people are gonna check down this bush, and I know I have more range than them, and they're not expecting it because I haven't done it yet. So I slow them, and then I chain supers, and then I like just kind of team wipe almost. Uh, they're like all one shot, so my team's just there to clean up. And <laughs> it's like a free round if you do it properly. So you guys can try it out on Mandy sometimes. Uh, because people, you can definitely, like, in Knockout, specifically Gold Arm, there are a lot of, like, strats you can do uh, at the start of rounds. Which, is, it's my favorite Knockout map for sure. So, yeah, you always gotta switch it up and you gotta be careful for people switching up as well. So, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out here. Gonna see if we can... I like going for the different angles on Mandy. You just gotta make sure, like, the Gene... I know he has Vision Gear. I thought I could maybe hit both of them. They are kind of standing close to each other. It's not really the best super. I'm gonna hit them, but we're not doing anything with it. Like, uh, if he's on Jump Cord, he can kind of push up more and, like, threaten the super on the Gene. I think he could have went for a super there on the Gene. Um, but, yeah, he's being pretty passive, and there's not a lot of walls left either. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of tough for the Grom to push up and get positioned. So I want to see if I can line someone up here. And I, like, I thought maybe, like, I'm guessing where the Gene is on my screen, but, uh, also it's not my server. You can tell he gets three shots off before I get, like, three, and I shot first. So I think this was on West. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, like, 
I don't know. It just didn't work out. I think we were like just way like too backed up. Um, so it kind of was hard without walls, but you know, they have a lot more HP, they have a lot more sustain. So we really like we're a combo where we really need to get a kill before it gets to late game. Otherwise, it's pretty hard for us. Um, especially if we're like backed up against our back wall, because then you just get pinched with the smoke. So I'm gonna go here. I haven't gone here yet. And I see he's like just uh, at the top here. So unfortunately, I do get hooked by the gray there. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Gray's used two of his gadgets. I'll get a slow on the gene. And that is just huge because we were in such a bad spot there. And hopefully, uh, we don't die here. Nice. So I'm gonna hit a shot and. Brown's gonna hit a shot as well. I don't want to feed him Gray Super, uh, but you know, I figure my teammates will before I will. So yeah, like like I was saying. So I was trying to get a kill. I got I gave him one hit, but I'm not gonna go for the thing down the side. I know Gray has TP, and uh, it could just throw the game. So the grass being broken here from that uh, Gray pull really kind of messes me up. So they're being really careful. They're like all over there right now. I don't know where the gray is. I'm assuming he's over there as well. And uh, yeah, he is over there. He's going to show for the first time. I want to see if they're standing on top of each other. I'm going to show because, you know, you can't just go for the same thing every time. And Mandy is really good for getting like mid control like this. I don't want Perry to get pinched out as well. So I'm going to see if I can get the gene. I think I, yeah, I do hit the gene. So he's one shot for me. Uh, I gotta be careful here though, so I need someone to be on the gray. I'm gonna try body blocking for the cord here. <sighs> I'm gonna use my slow, unfortunately, but you can see cord, he's got the mute. That's the good thing about the mute. He has the jump, he doesn't get that kill, so it's just kind of like personal preference, honestly. Uh, but yeah, this round's not looking as good. Loki, I thought he might be able to win it. I don't know Gene versus Cord matchup too well, but uh, yeah, he does. A, it's a good try uh, because he, you do get the mushrooms from Cord, so you do get, do get like a lot of healing. And I'm close to super again. Our Grom has super, Cord has super. So uh, yeah, we're a very super dependent comp. Um, same with them though, to be honest. But I like we're definitely in a better spot than we were in round two. So I think it's fine. I really want to look for the gene because the other two are harder for me to kill. Bonnie has so much HP, I'm out of slows, which kind of sucks, but uh, Gene kind of knows. <laughs> He's in my Twitch chat, like, and uh, luckily we get a really good cord super there. I don't know if he did it blind or whatever, but like, you know, he got the kill, and I see that it's like 2v3, so I want to see, like, the Gene's my Twitch mod, so I wanted to try egoing him. You've probably seen him go like 0-7 on my YouTube channel before in a previous video. Uh, so, you yeah, know, it's just for fun. You can see Cord spinning on uh, the other dude. But, uh, yeah, we pretty much got this game locked up in here. So, yeah, that was a pretty fun Mandy game. Hope you guys don't get sick of the Mandy games. Um, but for me, they're really fun. You can see I have like 100k damage and knockout, which is crazy. Uh, everyone else is like 40k, 30k, stuff like that. So... Yeah, hopefully you guys don't get sick of the Mandy games because I'd like to do more. And I have, every time I stream, I get games like that, obviously. All right, guys, so the next game is on the EU server. I know this going in. It's going to be on Infinite Doom. They do have first pick. Now, I think Shelly just auto ban. Cord, like, kind of auto ban. As you can just carry way too hard. And uh, Squeak, I also really like that ban here as well. It's just so oppressive. Now, they'll probably ban, like, I think, like, Brock. Like, Brock's a really good 2-3 into some cups. Excuse me. Crow is really good, um, and like Amber, stuff like that. So he's trying to decide between Squeak and Amber. I don't know if he could hear me, but I said Squeak and he did Squeak, so uh, yeah. Shout out for banning Squeak. <laughs> and yeah, they're going to do Gene. Gene's really good for Vision. Crow, Poco, it's, you know, a little like unorthodox. I've seen people play Poco here. It's not usually a ban though. And uh, they're going to first pick Brock. So yeah, Brock's really good. The strat is you kind of like open it up like there's like two patches of grass that connect both the sides If you take those out usually you break the one on the enemy side first because you can usually get a hit off with it And then after that at some point you'll either super your own side like the grass leading to your side and just kind of like uh, Yeah, take that out. So It is really strong and it counters like a lot of the other meta brawlers on this map Amber is a really good pick as well, but it does get pretty hard counter bed Brock I'd say you can run it down but uh, the thing when you like take out the grass with Brock is it's like hard to be sneaky on it so um, yeah we're gonna see I forget what this I think he picks Gus 
which I haven't really seen too much, but I think it was fine here because we have like it's like good into Brock or like decent into Brock. We need something long range and it kind of enables us to run it down with the last pick. So that's what I'm thinking again. Like I see a Brock like uh, and they are going to go Carl. But the thing about tanks on high ping, like I know there's not going to be a lot of grass. There's a Brock and an Amber. It's going to be like a wide open map. Um, and yeah, Carl just kind of like counters my teammates really hard. So I'm thinking like what's good to Carl and what's decent into like M's because you know, I'm not too focused on the Brock. We have something for the Brock. And I think Macy, like, you know what? Like, if I can get in the grass and, um, just, like, we can ever get mid control. Like, I think they definitely have the start because Carl's going to gadget up. Brock's going to break aside. And if we can just make it past the start, one of us gets in the grass, gets some position. I think our comp's fine. So, this map's really weird. It's also, like, Canal Grande or, like, the other, like, maps where it's just, like, super based on, like, mid control. And, like, there's a lot of grass, like... You're just trying to blind shoot into the grass from your base if you have the if you don't have position so it's really tough i'm gonna go speed speed like there's just so much grass makes sense i wanted to go vision but i think i need damage as well um and yeah you can see so in this game i make them excuse me sorry i make the mistake of we all go to the same place you can see my thing I am working on the Macy Mastery too. I got that pin the other day it's cool and um, unfortunately our M's is gonna go down right away so that kind of puts us at a disadvantage and I'm gonna hit two shots, but yeah, they're trying to be sneaky on us and uh, We're just kind of blind firing the Brock hasn't so yeah, that's the gadget I was talking about. It's kind of a weird place. I'm gonna get my super but uh, I think our start was pretty bad here I got to be careful of the Carl as well, and uh, I'm gonna get a shield So I'm looking to like super I think I should just went for the Carl there. I got greedy I thought I would hit both of them uh, unfortunately I only hit one and yeah, it's really hard for me to aim guys I don't know if you can tell but my ping is so bad like it's definitely like at least like one like one like 30 140 right now I think I try gadgeting up and I will get like two good shots on the M's uh, But pretty much like Macy is a brawler You never really auto aim on unless you super them But you can usually if you're in their face you can auto aim but this game I could not so I make the mistake I miss some point blank shots sometimes and uh, yeah, I think the first game was really like decided just by the start like we did not have a good start and uh, If we don't really have position like we never had control of that game like a single time so it <laughs> It can look like it's like a bad pick like the Macy, but I think the Amber kind of Made it hard for us at the start and I also think the positioning was pretty bad so here's a trick that like I don't see very often but uh, You guys probably don't know it, but you can go far right on this map and uh you're pretty much playing like aggro i think it's good into their comp because they can just kind of like shoot us from long distance they have like the comp at the start for sure so i am you can see this is what i'm talking about missing people like point blank range and uh i think that's like not even that bad because i got everyone one shot so you know hopefully we can finish a kill there but <laughs> unfortunately we don't and uh it's looking pretty like bad for us at this point i do have my super though but nice kill from the gust that's actually really big uh, and I am just gonna keep going down this side even if I die like five times like I'm gonna keep going down this side like and uh, Yeah, I get a really big super and uh, so there you press the super and then you gadget and uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna stay alive there. I don't really like having to use my gadget, but it's much better I have four in the blue so I did want to hit the Carl with that super as well I gotta be careful because if I don't have my super the Carl can just kind of go, er, go in on me because I don't have a gadget left but uh, yeah we're doing really good here and uh, I have delay so I tried pressing my super but the Carl got away so it's actually like really close here um, so yeah definitely like just being really cautious I don't want to lose this game like we played really good so far besides like the start kind of but uh, yeah, I think we're in a really good spot still. It's just like we could have won the game. And uh, Carl's gonna dash forward. Luckily, I get a good shield for my Gus too, just to make sure I'm safe. And uh, we're gonna finish him off with the super there as well. So I noticed that like worked out a lot better. So I'm gonna uh, just go down the right side again. And uh, even if I die, as long as we get some control, like I'd rather die like three times and then have like control and be like down like six stars or something on this map than just be like stuck in your base like up by one star. So <laughs> it's like a balance though, obviously you don't want to just run it down because then technically you do give them control kind of too. And uh, my Gus is playing really good. 
honestly shout out to Navi Salavi uh, he's the coach for Navi so I was missing the point blank auto aim shots but we do get control and uh, yeah nice kill there from my amber as well stays alive as well which is perfect and yeah <laughs> we are gonna get a really good pinch so the Navi coach played really good honestly um, and I, I like the gust pick a lot he could have shielded himself there he didn't that's okay and I'm gonna like get the double knockback on the super and uh, yeah unfortunately I couldn't finish the Carl off but I do chain supers so I am able to just kind of like knock the M's back off of me there and uh, just get away uh, and yeah we are maintaining mid so I'm gonna back off here because you know not my server I can get peaked really easily it is like very nice if I can get a kill or something like that but it's not worth it uh, we're gonna get the Brock one shot I think we can maybe finish him off so I'm gonna just dash forward there and get the kill and we're gonna win so I think Macy was a really good pick to be honest um, and <laughs> If that's my server, I carry a lot harder, guys. That's all I'm saying. But I think he played good. Uh, definitely could have won it without the Gus, though. Gus was putting in the work as well. All right, guys. So that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the Power League video with the draft. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming videos I have for you as well. Um, as long as you guys keep liking these videos, it's my pleasure to do them. They're a lot of fun for me. Peace, guys.